let's just put the elephant in the room right now. What are some of the realities that, that people may face? You, you touched on a couple of them, where it's layoffs, things like that. Now, the optimistic side of it is the work needs to get done. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But what should people be expecting at this point? Well, um, I do think that there's a, a couple of things. I mean, let's be realistic about what's happening out there. But at the same time, I don't want to have like a negative, uh, you know, session on, right, on, right. on how bad things are. Right. So the, the good thing about uh, being freelance is, you know, any change in the economy kind of creates an opportunity. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, it is slow right now. And we will mentioned that a couple of times, uh, you know, during the session. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that brands are fearful, you know, businesses are fearful right now. They're, they're kind of looking into the future and not knowing what's going to happen. So they're really tightening. Um, I'm seeing a lot more work kind of go from kind of maybe higher brand work kind of down more to performance kind of revenue generating projects. Um, mm -hmm. and that's just kind of the reality um, and what comes with that is I, I feel like, you know, we as freelancers may, uh, may have to work on less appealing work for a while, right? Um, if we can find it. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah. And, right. and I almost call that kind of working downstream a little bit from maybe what your ideal is or what you kind of, what your specialty is. You might have to kind of work down closer to where money is changing hands for the business. Right. Um, so I think that's, mm -hmm. that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, you know, in, in this tough time when it's slow, um, you know, one, one thing, and I know this isn't like rocket science, but I do feel like um, you just need to continue connecting with people. You know, um, you can't right. um, curl up at home remotely and just kind of wait for the phone to ring um and andrew and i uh, andrew dixon who who we do mount freelance one of the things we talk about with that is um really reaching out to people without the first thing being it's slow do you have any work right that doesn't really help anyone so mm -hmm. reach out connect with people kind of really kind of uh, essentially like maintain and, and grow your relationships with people, you know, as best you can. Um, right. and right. it's not always just seeing what can you get, think about what you can give. Um, even if it's, they're looking for s maybe some help on some project that you have no skills with, like give them three or four names of other people that, that, you know, that might be a good fit for it. Um, there's a lot of different right. ways that you can do it. 